Are you gonna be shy? Kiwi, where are you going? Here, look. Look, my hair, it's your favorite. Hi, Kiwi. Hi, baby. Hi. I love you. Sorry. Oh, sorry. As you can see, the topic of this month's journal entry is our new baby. Look at him. Say hi, Kiwi. Whoa. Sorry. Oh no, my battery's gonna die. Okay, we gotta make this quick then. Okay. We're back. Oh, sorry, Kiwi. My uh, camera did, in fact, die. So that was annoying. Uh, and Kiwi has decided that he's gonna face the other way for the remainder of the video. He might run around. He likes to bury in my hair. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my journal entry for January. I always feel weird because I do like the month even though now we're in February, so I get confused. But yeah, the big news this month is this little baby. Isn't he perfect and adorable and cute and he's gonna poop on my shoulder and it'll be okay because it's the tiniest little poops in the world and it's just really, really cute. So as you guys know, we lost our bird Morty a couple months back, but we have two birds, or we had two birds, Morty and Jeff, and if you're a bird owner, you know that you need to have more than one. They are flock pets flock animals we knew that we would need to get ow <laughs> oh hello hi hi but we knew we needed to get like a bird for jeff jeff and morty were my first birds they are technically our mom's birds but you know i'm their little mama now just like mordecai is um our mom's too and our mom's mordecai's dad and so i fell in love with morty and jeff and um i took me and Armand were like, well, they have to be separated for a while. Hello, yes, Jeff and our, the new bird. And so we decided to keep the new bird in my office. I have like a little setup that you might've seen on like my story or something like that. So we went and we went to a local pet store, not PetSmart or Petco. Mordecai's trying to push over. And Mordecai's also been very jealous. Aren't you Mordecai? Cause I baby talked to him. And Mordecai's like, are you talking to me? But Mordecai's a little scared of Kiwi. So with the new year came and we knew we were gonna get a bird after Christmas, after the holidays when we'd be home and we could stay with him and all that stuff. So we went to our Leckle, Le Leckle? Leckle. Our local pet store, they only had one and it was Kiwi. They only had one little bird. He was so cute and so comfy. He is adorable, look at him. Look at him, look at him, Kiwi, Kiwi. But that day, the crate was supposed to come in that morning, but it didn't come in until that night. And so we were like, okay, well, if we come back tomorrow and Kiwi is still, or the bird is still there, we'll get him. That night, the crate came in and Armand called and he was like, is the, the parakeet still there? And the people were like, yes, he's still here and we don't usually do this, but since you guys like visited him earlier today, we'll keep him on hold for you guys because we were gonna come pick him up the next day if nobody had gotten him. And we were like, oh, thank you so much and everything. And so we went the next day, picked him up and it was so cute. You know, for the first few days, we had to keep him in the crate and the crate, the cage, the cage, his little bird cage, you know, just let him get used to his surroundings. He stood still, like did not move for like two days. I mean, I, he did move, but he was just very much like, where am I, what's happening, what's going on? You know, just left him there, let him kind of get used to everything. And then he would eventually like start moving around the cage. We, we say that he like is screaming because he doesn't really chirp like Jeff does yet, where it's like, I don't know, like pretty chirps with for lack of better words. Um, but one day I was in a meeting and he came to the door and he like screamed and I was like, do you want me to open the door? And so I opened the door for him and he just kind of stood there and I was like, okay, cool. Like we'll start opening the door and just kind of see what you do. Um, Cause his wings are clipped. They do that at the stores so that they can't fly around. So I know that he can't like fly out and like get too far. But I think like a couple days later, he flew out of the cage for the first time. And so he made it like halfway to the door and I was like, oh my God. I like laid on the ground and just like talked to him and like slowly like put my finger up to him and he didn't know how to step up on my finger for a while. I had to like push on his little chest so that he knew like that's what we were trying to do. Right. Hi. <laughs> Armand's birthday was the 12th, which was very fun. He is 30. So cute. 
Jeff got sick the day before Armand's birthday and we had to take him to the vet and like leave him there over the weekend. Jeff is very obsessed with himself. He flies to the window near his cage in the living room and you think he's looking outside but he's actually just looking at like the the panel in the middle that is like a black metal panel. He can see himself in that black panel. So what we think happened is it was really cold and he was at the window all day screaming at himself. The next day he was all super puffy and I like took him out of the crate or took him out of the cage. He was just like sitting on my finger and he let me pet him and he let me kiss him and I was like, that's weird. I was like, Jeff doesn't normally do that. Me and Armand decided to take him to the vet near us, dropped him off. I cried a lot because I was like, we just lost Morty. And I was like, Aah. of course, to like cope with it all, me and Armand were making a lot of jokes. And we were like, Morty heard Kiwi and he knew we got another bird. He was upset. He made it through. Day for the weekend, we were able to like bring him home, give him medicine. It was like this red little stuff that we had to like put in his mouth, um, which is really hard to do for birds because they're so small. It went in his mouth, but it also got around his little chops, we call it. And his his like little feathers right here are white. So it was just like red. Um, and we were like, he's a little murderer, a little scary little murderer, <laughs> but it was really funny. So Kiwi and Jeff would like, Kiwi's in here and Jeff is in the living room. So they would kind of talk to each other across the house, like two days. But we let them meet for the first time the other day and it was so cute. I don't know, maybe it's just a bird thing or maybe it's just a Jeff thing because he would put his face right up to Kiwi and that's what he does when he looks at himself in the window. Uh, they really, like Jeff is like obsessed with him the next time they like, oh he just pooped on my foot. <laughs> Good job Kiwi. Good job. Whoa. Ooh. And they were eating together, no problem, and all that stuff, so I don't really have any worries for them being together full, full time. I've been trying to train him, birds are so hard, slowly but surely getting there. He's still a little scared of my finger, like I'll, I'll get him to step up on the cage, or out of the cage. It still runs away a little bit, so it's just gonna take some time. But that was the big news this month. I think we're four months away? January, February, March, April, and then May 25th from the wedding. I'm designing our invitations now to send those out. We're still looking at like decorations and things like that to kind of consider. Getting, it's getting super close. I'm super excited. I cannot wait. I hung up the dress. It's not on the floor anymore. I was able to figure out how to hang it up in the closet. What else? What else? Me and Armand went and saw some ska band and ska fans are crazy. Like I didn't realize you could mosh to ska music. But people moshed to ska music and the venues that we were at were really like small venues. Like I can handle like metal concerts with those kind of moshing. Cause like I feel like there's always like a designated area. There's people around the pit containing it. But for ska it was just like bonkers and it was just weird. But fun and it's super fun. We have a concert this Friday. Going to see Dorelio, if that's how you say it, in San Holo. I get to wear my pretty neon platforms. I'm super excited. Super excited. Yes, we are. Me and Armand are still trying to build me a PC. We'll see how well that works out. PCs are expensive. Building a PC is expensive because like I I want a PC to be able to play more games than just Minecraft. And I'd love to be able to put like mods on Minecraft or like skins and do like the pretty shadows and all that fun stuff. So one day, one of these days, we're going to end that. The past week, completely become hyper fixated on Power World. If you don't know what Power World is, it is what Pokemon wishes it could be and what Pokemon should be. It's amazing, it's beautiful, I love it. I'm playing it on my Xbox, my computer cannot handle it. My Xbox can't even handle it. It crashes like every 30 minutes, but it's, if you haven't played Power World, play Power World, it's awesome. I am unbelievably hyper fixated on it. Like I, as soon as I get off work, I play it until we go to bed. I've been doing that for the past, since like Saturday. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. Don't look at me. I think that's it. Next month is my birthday. So that's exciting. Maybe next month Kiwi will talk. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're on Patreon, you're seeing the I didn't realize that um, my camera had died again until I'm sitting here editing this video. So what I was saying is if you're watching this on Patreon, then actually this part isn't gonna be on Patreon. <laughs> But if you want to see the whole uncut version of this video, watch it on Patreon, watch my comics animations on Instagram, YouTube, Webtoon, all that fun stuff, TikTok, whatever else is on there. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye! Bye.